first of all, uh, a new start to the season. Uh, so, what are you expecting uh, from this season? And you know, there have been perceptions about you that. Uh, so, do you have to prove? You, do you have a point to prove to others that yeah, I can play as the centre? Yes. Uh Especially for Chennai FC, I want to score as, uh, as much as I can uh, to help the team to lift the trophy. And um, I hope uh, this year our squad is very strong compared to the last three years. And I think this year is uh, the best squad we have. And I think we've been uh, winning the trophy. No, I mean, about your, your personal okay. goals. And like I said, uh, right now we are in a good form and we had a place of camp in Thailand. And especially for me, I need to work very hard. And uh, this is my fourth, going to be my first, fourth year. And I want to do the more for the club and for the others in NBC fans. And yeah, uh, but uh, all the players need to work together, fight together, fight for each other. And uh, I don't have any prayers at all, but like I said, uh, I need to work very hard. Get more goals and uh, to help the team uh, for the trophy. That's my goal. JJ, uh, this season the season is going longer. But we played for four months. Uh, last year there were some times where you played two matches in a week. Uh, very less time between matches. Do you think that's going to help you better rest, recovery, give better performance in a week? Yes, that's a very important question. And I think this is very important for the players and uh, for the coach also. Uh, when you get uh, after the match, when you get the uh, time for uh, recovery and you know uh, preparing for the next game, I think this will help. Uh, I think this will help the league and uh, the players. Uh, I hope uh, in the future we can get more time uh, to get uh, recovery. This this is good for the uh, league. Yeah. I don't have any press, I don't know, but like I said, uh, I need to work very hard uh, to get more goals. Uh, to help the team for uh, the team trophy, that's my goal. JJ, uh, this season the season is going longer, but we played for four months. Uh, last year there were some times where you played two matches in a week, uh, very less time between matches. Do you think that's going to help you better rest, recovery, give better performance in a week? Yes, that's a very important question, and I think this is important for the players and, uh, and for the coach also. You know? Uh, when you get uh, after the match, when you get the uh, time for uh, recovery and you know uh, preparing for the next game, I think this will help. Uh, I think this will help the league and uh, the players. Uh, I hope uh, in the future we can get more time uh, to get uh, recovery. This this is good for the uh, league. Yeah. Um, now we're in pretty good shape, to be fair. Uh, we've got uh, 25 players in the squad. Um, <coughs> Unfortunately, um, for, uh, for three weeks we've lost uh, our international players. The four boys that have been away with the national team um, have been away for three weeks. Uh, and sometimes that uh, has disrupted some of our plans. Um, some of the games that we played, uh, obviously the likes of JJ, uh, he, he's not been able to play because he's been with the national team. Uh, the other th three boys as well uh, have been away from us, so um, we've not always had a full squad that we can uh, pick from. And uh, obviously they only came back to us uh, on Wednesday after the uh, international match that they recently drew two each. Um, so we've missed one or two. Um, I have to say that German Preet has got uh, a bit of a knock. He came back from the national team and, and as a club coach, it's always your worst nightmare. Uh, we sat and watched the TV, sat and watched the game on TV the other night. And every time one of our players was going in for a challenge, we were sort of saying a quick prayer, hoping that they'd be fine. Um, but German Preet has come back with a, with a little bit of a knock. Uh, he might not make uh, the start uh, tomorrow night, but uh, we are anticipating that he'll be fit for the game on Thursday. Other than that, everyone else is in uh, good condition. Um, it will be interesting to see how the national boys, having been away with the national team, um, they've obviously been training and playing at a 
very high intensity, um, whilst the rest of the guys haven't probably been working quite as hard. So we have to pay a little bit more attention uh, to Tupper and to German Crew and obviously to Jerry and JJ. Um, and we maybe have to monitor them and look after them a little bit better because they literally haven't had a, had a rest. They've been playing continually uh, for a long time. So uh, going into the game tomorrow night, I've got boys that um, have already played a lot of games in the last uh, three months uh, compared to the rest of the squad. So we need to look after them and obviously protect them because uh, we've got a long season ahead of us. But fortunately, I don't think the national team play again until next March. So uh, in, in many respects, that's a blessing. Yeah, well, obviously I met Sergio, um, nice guy. Um, he's got his uh, ideas on how he wants his team to play. So we can expect them to play in a very Spanish style, um, keeping possession of the football, wanting to press in our half of the pitch. Um, we know, we have a rough idea of exactly what their starting lineup will be. We've got about 13 or 14 players that we expect to start. Obviously not all of them, but from that 13 or 14. So we've, we've got a very good idea of what their lineup will be. Um, whilst we pay particular attention to the opposition, uh, I pay even more attention to my own boys. And um, my thoughts and uh, all 100% of my effort really has gone into... You're uh, expected to win your home matches. Uh, I was said the other day in a conference about the best teams win away from home. That's where championships are won. You can look at any league in any country uh, in the world and uh, if you can pick up points when you're on the road and obviously win your home games, you'll always have a chance of challenging for the title. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll take a very pragmatic uh, approach to the, to the season. I think both coaches last night were quite happy not to have lost, uh, to have got a point on the board. Um, it is a long season, there's 18 games in the regular season and I do believe Kerala started last year, they lost the first two games, ended up playing in the playoff final, uh, had the chance to, to have won the ISL last year. So um, you have to keep focused and regardless of, of what happens, uh, <coughs> if you win your first match, everybody suddenly starts talking about you winning the, the championship and winning the playoff final. So. Um, We've all been in the game for a long, long time and we just take it accordingly. But we want to start well, and obviously for our fans that have stood by us, they stood by us last season when we had a really disappointing season by our standards. And uh, <coughs> they were still here, they were still turning up, supporting the team, even though some of the results weren't what they wanted. Um, and they'll be here in their droves tomorrow night. This place will be packed and uh, very raucous. Uh, be a great atmosphere here. So. We want to obviously reward our fans who stuck by us all through a difficult year last year. We want to reward them with a, with a good season this year. Um, our club has set high, very high standards in the first two seasons and uh, we have a lot to live up to. It's always nice, um, we, we in Western Europe you don't have restrictions uh, to try, well you have certain restrictions, but certainly not on your home pitch. If it's your home stadium, you can go on it any time you want. Um, if the groundsman will let you, uh, normally you have to... Um, if you want to train on your home pitch, there's just no restrictions whatsoever. And it always gives you an opportunity to, to train there, to play there, just to get the feel of, of the stadium itself. Um, <clears throat> we came down here on, on Wednesday night. And uh, as you know, I came and saw the pitch about three months ago. And... Uh, I was shocked when I first saw it, but I was extremely pleasantly shocked on uh, Wednesday when we came down here and saw the surface. It's in great condition. Uh, the guys have worked tremendously well and tremendously hard to get the surface looking good. And uh, my players saw it, and even though we weren't allowed to train on it, at least they, they saw the stadium and we had the lights on too, and uh, there was a, a lot of um, a lot of my boys look like 12 year old kids, you know, that were so excited when they saw it and just how beautiful it looks and how firm the, the surface was as well. So um, there'll be no excuses about the condition of the, of the surface tomorrow night.